even now, when I mention the trip to Korean Catholics, their eyes still light up. Oh my God, we are all so excited and um, it was, everybody was so exciting, even non-Catholics. His visit to Korea, not just for the, it's an honor to uh, Catholics in Korea and in other non-Catholics in Korea. People still talking about him and what he said. John Hwan, who is studying to be a priest, was in Korea to help coordinate Asian Youth Day, the principal reason for the Holy Father's visit. And when Pope Francis celebrated the closing Mass, John had a close encounter with the Pope. Very close, uh, not, not shaking it, but uh, very close, like this close. I sang in a choir uh, for the Mass that the Pope Francis celebrated. I saw some of the guys were crying because it was so touching. Um, and what he, he said about the, the hope and uh, the faith, it was such, just beautiful. Francis is the second Pope to visit Korea. St. John Paul II went to the country twice during his pontificate. John Paul's first journey led to the canonization of more than 100 Korean martyrs. Pope Francis used his visit to beatify 124. Koreans from across the Diocese of Brooklyn and Queens are celebrating all these martyrs tonight, on the eve of the feast of St. Andrew Kim Taegon, St. Paul Chong Ha Sung, and their companions. The leader of the diocese, Bishop Nicholas de Marzio, is at St. Joseph Co. Cathedral to celebrate with them. Their excitement over the Pope's visit sets the tone for the whole Mass. They have a great devotion to the Holy Father, and, they went, uh, and he went there to celebrate the Asian Youth Day, but also to, Canada, to beatify the, the other group of martyrs, the second group of martyrs. And I think it meant a lot to the people, and I, I think they're, they're talking about it tonight even. Koreans who studied the Catholic faith in China came home to evangelize. They studied the uh, Bible and then they realized that, oh, this is the truth. Father John Kwan, who shepherds the Koreans in Brooklyn and Queens, adds that it is through struggle and sacrifice that the faith has grown strong. They really give up their lives and then sacrifice to keep the faith. And I ask myself that, can I do it? I'm not sure. <laughs> so, you know, I still need to grow a lot. The Pope's visit helped bolster the faith in Korea. Now, Brooklyn Catholics even dare to hope for the seemingly impossible, the reunification of North and South Korea, divided for decades. Pope Francis prayed that the country would become one again. Through prayer and through his actions, I think uh, it'll be, um, you know, Hopefully within my lifetime, it will be unified. We never forget that we're brothers. We're not enemies of each other. We're brothers. So we will be unified one day, and we, pray, uh, we always pray for that. This is the first Mass that all the Koreans in the diocese have had together in St. Joseph's Co-Cathedral, where right in the ceiling is the Madonna of their beloved country. Reporting for Currents from Prospect Heights, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.